Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you my January faves. Yes, that's right. These are the products, my go-to products for the month of January, things I can't wait to show you because they really, really work. I called out the kind of also brands and really just am showing you the products that I truly love. Now, the first products I'm going to show you are my hair growth products. And let me show you a picture of my hair. As some of you may know, on November 24th, of this past year, which I'm sure you guys don't know that, but November 24th, I whacked my hair off from about here up to about here. And I'll show you a picture of the back of it. There it was, November 24th, the day that I got it cut. And I'm wearing a blue t-shirt because I'm going to be showing you my hair growth journey. But you can see on November 24th where my hair was. And 60 days later, January 24th, exactly 60 days later, my hair had grown a whole inch and a half. And actually hair growth of all ages is supposed to be on average about half of an inch a month. And I think I'm doing some things which have improved the rate of my hair growth because right now my hair is growing at about three quarters of an inch a month, which is faster than average. So let me show you a few of my faves that relate to my hair growth journey. And I have other things that I'm doing to grow my hair. And if you're interested in seeing that video, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, you'll be notified of my future videos, including my in-depth hair growth video, which will be coming up soon. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would help it in the rankings here on YouTube, which I would appreciate. Okay, let me get into this. The first things I've been doing for my hair are nutritional. The first thing is this Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. And this is a little powder that I put one scoop in my coffee in the morning. Here it is. I'll show you the little scoop here. Um, I saw a woman who had fabulous nails, an older lady, <laughs> probably my age, at the nail salon and she had very nice long natural nails and I said how are you getting them that way and she said that she had been using this vital proteins and the health food store where she bought it was right across from the nail salon she said that this says to use two scoops but she and about everybody in the health food store were they were using this and they only use one scoop a day, which is a lot cheaper. And I have really been using this quite religiously. One scoop in the morning in my coffee. It does not taste like anything at all. It's maybe a little bit frothy. And I have to admit for the first few weeks, the idea that I was drinking collagen kind of grossed me out a little bit. We won't go into the details of what that is, but I have already gone through this much in the last about two and a half months. This one is empty. I bought this one to begin with and then I ordered this very large one and I just pour the large one into the smaller one. This one is all gone. I'm going to be ordering this in the next few days because this one is almost gone too. I have been using it since about November 24th when I got my hair cut. December, January, it's about two weeks into February. So I have been using this two and a half months now and I really feel like it is helping my hair. I feel like my skin is looking somewhat better and I can't tell on my nails because I get tips at the nail salon, so who knows. Now, another thing I'm using nutritionally is this BioSil for hair, skin, and nails. It says reduces fine lines and wrinkles, thickens and strengthens hair, and strengthens nails, and promotes healthy bones and joints. And I have noticed that my knees used to feel a little creaky. And since I've been doing the collagen and the BioSil, I really haven't noticed that my joints feel bad at all. They seem to feel pretty darn good. This has biotin in it, which is a B vitamin, which helps hair, skin, and nails. And I really feel like this is contributing to my hair growth. I'll put a link below. I will say though that on my next bottle, I ordered a different form of biotin because it was very highly rated. And so I'm going to be switching that out in the next few days when this one is gone. Maybe a couple of more weeks is what I have on this. This one has 120 pills in it, which lasts for three months, and I've been two and a half months on this. So in a couple of months, this one will be gone, but I really think the collagen and the biotin are really helping my hair grow. Now, this next hair product is something I just am blown away by. And you know, it's so funny. This is my real hair with no hair extension, and I'll get into the talk about hair extensions in just a few moments because I really do like to use hair extensions because I like my hair to be thicker than it is naturally. And I'm 
unfortunately, all of this nutritional stuff, while it will make your hair grow nicely, it doesn't really improve upon the hair that you have. If you have thin hair, it's probably going to stay thin hair. But one thing that is amazing is that I have been using this Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask about once a week. And as a matter of fact, I also mix it in with my hair conditioner. There's a hair there. So that is how that looks. It's just very, very oily, very greasy. I think it has macadamia oil and coconut oil in it. And this is a fabulous product. I can't remember the YouTuber that I learned about this product from. It was a younger girl who had very long hair and she was doing a hair growth video because in order to grow my hair, I've really been studying the hair growth videos. And she swore by this. And I love the way it makes my hair feel. It just feels very silky and my hair never feels silky. In fact, when I was just at the hair salon to get my hair colored again, my hairstylist asked me, she said, did you just get your hair cut? And I'm like, oh no, that was two and a half months ago. I haven't touched it. And she's like, oh my, your ends feel fabulous. And she is not used to my wiry ends feeling very silky. And this is totally the reason why. I will keep using this. In fact, I am just ordering another little jar of this from Amazon. It is wonderful. Now, another thing that's very important if you want to grow your hair or to have the healthiest hair possible is to be sparing about the heat tools. I have tried to wash my hair less because that means less blow drying. But another thing that is very helpful is this wonderful brush. It is called the Wet Brush Pro. And what it allows you to do, it allows you to use this when you have wet hair, when you're blow drying your hair. And so your hair gets dry much, much faster. I would say probably a third faster when I use this brush because the air is able to go through the brush and really get your hair dry much more quickly. So that means less time for the heated blow dryer to damage your hair. Really, really like this brush. It's fabulous and I use it every time I wash my hair. Now, as many of you know, I like to wear hair extensions and I don't particularly wear them to have that Instagram hair that the 20 year olds have. I just like to wear them because I think that as we age, our hair does tend to get more thin and just doesn't look like it did when we were younger. And I think that just as we do skincare to try to make ourselves look a little fresher, a little younger, we do makeup for the same reason. I think that it's helpful if you're 50 plus and you have thinning hair to add just a little extra hair to give yourself that younger looking hair because our hair ages just like everything else about us. And so I absolutely love these Irresistible Me hair extensions and I am not sponsored by them. However, they do send me these extensions. This is the third set I've gotten and I've been approached by other companies but their extensions are much more expensive than these extensions and I've always told them no I love the irresistible me's and so I don't want them to send me any other extensions I absolutely love these they're 100% human hair and they're extremely reasonable normally when I wear extensions I just wear one single weft which is just a little strip about this wide it goes in the back of your hair it just clips in and that's all I wear it just gives me a little bit more thickness and I really enjoy that. I don't really like to use all the pieces on an ongoing basis because I think, you know, the wind could blow, they could show, but I love that single weft extension. And basically here is the little box. You open up the box. It has a pretty lady on it. And here are the hair extensions. They come in a little plastic baggie like this. And basically you choose your color. However, I chose platinum blonde because I either have my hairstylist color them or lately I have just been using a blonde toner, which I'll show you in just a few minutes, but I do get the platinum blonde, which is obviously too light for my hair. This little piece here comes exactly the same color as this. And as long as you just open the one little side here, you can send this back. Once you open this up, you can't send it back because for sanitary reasons, they don't want people re-wearing each other's hair, I guess. But I've already color toned this to match my hair. But here is the little piece that you get. And it's a little bit curly because it's been in there. But I have toned it to sort of match my hair and it would end up going under my hair. And as you can see, it's a pretty good match. And I am taking these extensions this afternoon to get them cut. I don't want them super long. I want them about an inch and a half longer than this because that is ultimately how long I want my hair to grow. And I feel like on my birthday, which is April 22nd, I should have that much growth. So hopefully when I get these cut, 
I will start wearing the single weft extension of this on my birthday, which I'm so excited about because I have really not enjoyed having the shorter hair. And you get a ton of different pieces in this set, really more than I normally wear for sure. And I won't go through all the pieces because this is just a favorites video. I just kind of wanted to show you this. This probably has 10 different pieces, including the big four weft piece of hair, which is the big single extension. And you can buy that if you just want that for around $50, $57, somewhere in there. In this whole set, I got a 14 inch set, which is probably about down to here. And I think that was $97 to order for the whole set. Just an amazing, amazing value. That's why I keep using these. It's soft, wonderful human hair. It's very reasonable. And if you're thinking about adding a little thickness or length to your hair, you might consider these Irresistible Me extensions because I think they're fabulous. And I put the link below. And what I do is that I color them myself using this Rue Rinse. And Rue Rinses come in a myriad of colors. I'm sure you can find one that matches your color. I have to say the first time I used this on my extensions, I got three different colors because I had to find the color that totally matched. And my color is called Frivolous Fawn. And so it's an inexpensive way to treat your hair extensions to get them to just your color. And again, I ordered the Platinum Blonde because that's a very easy color to color tone. And these would go under, obviously. And it's kind of hard, I'm a little bit awkward here. But as you can see, that frivolous fawn color does work very, very well. And I'm taking them into my hairstylist this afternoon in that bright blonde color because I want her to cut those and I want to make sure she doesn't cut my hair too and so she'll be able to tell the difference. And so tonight I'll go ahead and color tone these. And how you do that is you just put the extensions all in the sink, make sure the little weft things, the little clips are closed so it doesn't get all tangled and then you just get it all wet and then you towel dry each piece and then you just put them all together and put this roux rinse all over. It comes out as a foam. So then you just squish this foam all around, the color foam, and that colors the extensions. Don't wash it off. Maybe brush it a little bit if you want to. And what I do is I either blow dry each extension, which takes a long time, or you can just clip them onto coat hangers and let them dry all night. And then in the morning, I just flat iron them and they're ready to go. And I will say that after a couple of months, this color fades a little bit, but all you do is repeat the process and it's a wonderful inexpensive way to color your extensions. Now to show you the advantage of hair extensions on shorter hair, I did want to just clip in my single weft extension and show it to you. This is how it looks and quite honestly, it's not perfect right now. It's a little bit shorter than my real hair, so it's a little bit uneven on the bottom, but it does give me that fullness that I like and once my hair is all grown out where I want it to be, I'll use a single weft extension like this one and it will be cut exactly to my length and it will look a lot better. Now that was a look at my hair care faves for January and I just busted in on this video because I was editing the video and realized that the whole thing is like 23 minutes long, which is too long. So I'm going to end the video now making this part one of my January faves and those are my hair care faves. And I hope you'll tune in next week because I will be showing you my makeup faves and they are absolutely fabulous. Hope you'll tune in next week for part two of my January faves. Take care. See you next time.